my oh, okay. comment. Okay. All right, so thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you. absolutely. That's all, so that's all it was. Absolutely. For Christopher Bell, Christopher Bell, Christopher Bell, Christopher Bell, Christopher Bell, Christopher Bell, Christopher and I think when you look at the vision statements, there's things about all of them you like. <laughs> and then there's some things you want to change. So, uh, David, why don't you go through your table? <clears throat> what? <laughs> this is your table. Okay. Time to shine. Let's get it going. No. <laughs> I'm getting my coffee. We don't have order here. We got more coffee. Do you have your coffee? We got your coffee now? Yeah. We already heard beer, and they did. Beer is 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 a blessing from God because He wants us to be happy. <laughs> that, that's it. God God wants you to be happy. That's why we're here. That's why we're here, right? God wants you to be happy. So 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 the way we do that is members engaged in prayer, worship, and small group fellowship, being an example of Christian life. Service and action in supporting the education and outreach of Christ's love. So we're really trying to focus on God-centered relationships, small group fellowship, and an example of Christian life. You living it and being an example. The service and action piece is us telling people that you shouldn't be a bystander. You should be active in this church. So all these things that we're talking about, we need to do this. We need to do that. Well, we need volunteers for that. How do we get that? by tooling people and talking to them about being active in their faith in service and action, okay? That yeah. you should be doing something. Uh, you know, your faith should drive you to action. Doesn't mean you're saved through your action. It just means your faith is driving you that way and, and people seeing Christ's love in your action. So that's... Thank you. Did you write that down to a sermon? <laughs> That's tomorrow. <laughs> Whoa, why are tomorrow off? Oh, yes. <laughs> Dave's preaching, huh? <laughs> All right, next up, Anita. Had the privilege of working with some fabulous ladies at the table over there. <laughs> so, ours, we tried to kind of incorporate uh, our mission statement, starting out with we exist to connect people to Christ by actively sharing God's word with people in their everyday lives. Uh, we strive to reflect God's compassion by serving others through human care and mercy work, kind of pulling in from our core values. And then as a thriving church, we encourage people of all ages to study God's word as well as participating in worship regularly. And we kind of just kind of pulled some stuff from our core values to come up with what we got. Thank you. No, you go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, you were yeah. Jack. Go ahead. <laughs> go for it. You guys want to flip a coin? <laughs> we used uh, yes. we used uh, a view graph uh, twenty six, sort of as a guideline to uh, determine what we wrote. And we tried to hit those points in some fashion. And I can't remember what they are now. <laughs> uh, it reads as Christ centered people would nurture others through scripture, fellowship, service, and outreach. Um, what, what, I forgot the guidelines. So we tried to hit the various points uh, based on uh, the four something, uh, the vision statement. Uh, for something, and in this case, it's to it's to be able to take care and to to love other people. Um, the um, inclusiveness uh, we're trying to capture by making sure that we're not just internally focused and uh, wanting to reach out. Uh, service uh, we decided not to be specific. In the statement, we wanted it to be broad because one of the points in here was that it was an idealistic statement. And so, to that extent, uh, this statement doesn't narrow down to what the specific things might entail in any of these things fellowship, scripture, service, or outreach. 
But anyway, that was our contribution. Very good. Crystal. Ours says, our church lives out our faith by sharing God's love through our gifts, talents, and resources with all those in spiritual and physical need. Um, I think we try to focus on tying in our mission statement um, with specifics about how we do that, which is um, being in action. We specifically share God's love um, <clears throat> with all those in spiritual and physical need. We are inclusive because uh, we wanted to add the ways in which people do that is through their gifts, talents, and resources. So that ties in nobody's off the hook. Everybody has something they can contribute through something God has given them and use that to reach out to those who are in spiritual and physical need. So we try to tie in everything that's on the vision statement development, the five aspects. Um, and without getting as specific as the others, all right, so what do you think? Can you take a look at this? What we want to start with and wordsmith it? Well, this is a thought. One of the things we talked a lot about was that the whole emphasis really of us is Christ. Mm -hmm. And so we must start with Christ. Okay. So then when you look to the future, then you start with Christ as Christ centered people. Christ centered men. I see that. Our future word is nurture. Yeah. Because it goes, it, that's continuous as far as we were discussing it. It wasn't a, it, it wasn't an event or it wasn't a one-time thing, but it's just a continuous process. Can I write on this? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> that, she wants to know if she could write on it. Is that the? Oh, I'm yeah. incorporating the things being said. Christ-centered lives. While you're there on ours, would you put um, uh -huh, worship between scripture and fellowship? Just insert it as a character. Thank you. Well, we kind of have that in that first one, right? I think that's why we're trying to wordsmith others to yeah. get to a point where I mean, we want to add maybe scripture and, yeah. and stuff to the, yeah. you know, or a Christ centered member. <clears throat> you know, one of the other things that we, we want to make sure, and this kind of came out of the Constitution and Bylaws thing too, is we wanted to leave it as broad as we could. We don't want to tie ourselves down to having to, to do anything in particular except service to Christ. Um, so I think that's something we have to keep in mind as, as we did with the Constitution by Love Committee too. Try to keep it as broad as, so we can fill in all the gaps as we wish. As we go into those yeah. kind of breakout So are there some in the others that are encompassed mm -hmm. in others that we can X out because they're encompassed in others to sort of drive us towards. That's what I say. You know, if you start, if you start, then you know, you're saying like start with one and then let's smash them together. Is right. that what you're trying to do? Yes. Or not just start with one, but maybe all of them in some way we tweak them till we get to. Them. Well, you know, we say you know definitely you know we identify ourselves as Christ-centered people. Okay, I think that's. Uh, you know, in the future, we're going to continue to be Christ-centered people, right? So I think that's I think that's that's a 
That's a good point. That's a good to start. Make sure it's and, and doctrinally, we're based on scripture. Yeah. So inclusivity is nurturing. Could you say, as Christ-centered people, our church lives out our faith by sharing God's love through our gifts, talents, and resources with all those in spiritual life? That, that's how I would start that. Say that again? As Christ-centered people, add that to the top of yours, Crystal, mm -hmm. our church lives out our faith by Christ. sharing, as, so as <coughs> Christ-centered people at the very top, I know you can't read there, as <laughs> As Christ-centered people, no, 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 no. Hang on. As Christ-centered people, our church lives out our faith. I would say reflects our faith. I like the live. I think that's a real action word. That's my thought. Lives out. Lives out our faith. By sharing God's love through our gifts, talents, and resources with all those. I, I would like to get the word nurturing in there somewhere, too. I'm not sure how that would fit in. Okay? Spiritual or nurturing. Read that again. Or physical need. As Christ-centered Christ people, our church lives out our faith by sharing God's love through our gifts, talents, and resources by nurturing all those in spiritual or physical need. As Christ-centered people, we, the church doesn't do anything. We right. do. Yeah, I, I think that the, the hard thing is we're trying to mash it all nurturing. Yeah, that's good. And, and I think it's hard to mash it all in one sentence. The first sentence I, I pieced together with some of the stuff you have up there is as Christ-centered People nurturing education, fellowship, and worship in our daily lives. So, and, and then you probably start a new sentence and say, okay, what else do we do? But we don't want to limit it. That's the thing. We don't want to. All inclusive. You want, you're, you're, you're looking at a future time here. So, you right. want to, so you put in one sentence that's going to be extremely long trying to put all five things in there from your. Yes! That's what we do. From you your know. core values. That's extremely hard and be semi showing the end without being too grandiose. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's your chance. It has to be like we. What are we doing? What are our members doing? Pastor Rick said we went to the St. Paul Writing School, you know, how to write a long yeah. sentence. Yeah. Okay. So I love you too. Writing is so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Would you um, <coughs> like this like to have it here? Well, so why don't you, uh, so why don't you, right here. Here. Why don't you look at, at, at the end of resources for a period? Okay. I think so too. So right once now. you get to resources, you put a period, okay. and then you start into how, yeah, how, how a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So how do you want to start it then? You wanted nurturing. They want a common. Yeah. Then you get into the St. Paul yeah. method of writing. <laughs> Or you go into those circular arguments. Well, can you really argue the same wall? Wall? Yeah. I think that's probably it can be either way you want. What what is this one missing? We we've tweaked it so we've got some things in it. What's this one missing? If you're to go to physical, one at a time so I can hear you. If you're going to physical and spiritual needs, you you uh, we, you need to add emotional. Well, it started out just those in need. That would probably be better. And that's when we got more specific. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't make it so specific. Then I keep it going. Because I, I agree. Emotional, physical, spiritual, biopsychosocial. Yeah. Well, if you if you do that, you just, okay, one at a time. If you do that, where you just say 
resources, comma, by nurturing all those in need, then you don't need to have another sentence. You just okay. keep it short. David, are we getting away from how we're supporting it? Yeah. The fellowship, the service, the education, the outreach. Okay, so does because fellowship fit under this? What's that? Does fellowship fit under this? I think some of these other ones captured a little better than trying to jam it all into that one, but I, I understand what you're doing. Um, we're trying to make a statement that includes yes. exactly. fellowship, exactly. the school, all the ways in which we might accomplish right. our mission statement. So it's brought up to encompass it without restating all of the different ways in which we might have to actually take out the word by. Take out the word by. Take out the word by. Yeah. All right, Sherry, go three of I cannot hear three of you. Go ahead, Jim. No, you go. Okay. Sharing God's love through our gifts, talents, resources, nurturing all those. So in, in sharing, we are then nurturing all those in. You don't need the word buy. Don't okay. need the word buy. To right. buy out <clears throat> or nurture. <clears throat> She's saying to just use the comma, space, nurture. I know, but that to me is it, that it's missing the word. How are you doing these things? By. No, you've already said you're doing it by sharing. Okay. And as we do it by sharing, then we are nurturing all. Now I understand. Yes. It's, it's, it's grammatically correct. I'm going to you. Did we decide we're taking out spiritual and physical need? Because it doesn't include emotional and psychological. Yeah, I, I wouldn't get so definitive. How does everybody feel about that, taking out spiritual and physical? Yes. Yes. So just Crickets from this table? Okay. Well, here's, here's what I think on the top there where you have the Christ-centered, Christ-centered members sharing God's love. Is that what you have? We have, as Christ-centered people, we live out our faith. Okay, so living out our faith. Our faith by sharing God's love through our gifts, talents, and resources this really ought to be a semicolon? I don't know. No, I'm not no, no, no. Just no. Nurturing all those in need. Period. I I personally still like spiritual and physical need. I, I just think that's more, a, a little bit more um, specific because it's in need. And I don't know. I just think it, it's kind of... So that's then is it, is it too... Does it need to be then spiritual, physical, and emotional? I, I don't think it needs emotional. Well, what about our mental needs? It, it makes it more inclusive when you just do their needs because it's everything they need. I kind of like that better because then it's like, Whatever their needs is, we're meeting them at the We're going to try. Whatever that need is, we're going to change over time. time. I can tell you, I mean, like it, and actually, you know, we deal with all categories. Yes. Yeah. You know, okay. People come in. Okay. Hey, what else? Emotional issues, physical issues. Do we want it to be more. Um, Pastor, I'm sorry. I just kind of stepped into your role here. That's all right. Um, Keep <laughs> I think I feel like I'm teaching you. Yes, Crystal. I, can, can we? Well, whatever you have now, just go ahead and put it over here on the board. Well, that's what she's going so, to do. Yeah, I, I know, but it's a little hard to figure out what you got and what you don't yeah, I know. I was about to rewrite it, but we were still tweaking it. So I'm going to rewrite it right now. Yeah. Just, just a question. We don't say we, we we talk about our faith, but we don't do anything about what we're going to do with our faith. I mean, we're going to share it out, but are we going to do anything to the faith of our own of us? I, the one question I have: Are we going to do anything to like, our faith? Are we? We don't say anything about that. We just talk about those in need. Yeah. 
So we're, we're rewriting it, and then we'll tweak it some more. So, so, so are, you, are you saying, are you saying that what we're not talking about is our own spiritual growth? Right. Internal and external. We talked about that when we were developing all the mission statement. I thought. Is if our faith. Um, and we talk about our faith, but we're not talking about how we our grow our faith so we can do these other things. So nurturing those in need through service and outreach, is that what you're saying? No, well, I'm saying we're not saying anything about how do we nurture ourselves. So, so it has to be like a through, as Christ said, people, blah, 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 through. I, I, that's just... Well, it's yeah. That's I mean, because it's, other ones have that too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You guys talk about the same thing. Yeah. 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 Could we say something? Uh, I, know, I think ours is still Christ centered. Your bias. Your bias. Yeah, so we have biases. We all have biases. By sharing God's love. I wrote that. I'm looking at your rose colored glasses. Gifts, talents, and resources, period. No, 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 there's not a problem. We are committed to growing the full process of and nurturing others through scripture and worship, fellowship, service, and outreach. On the second page, the second sentence. On the second sentence. It's a little Sharing God's love with all those in need through our gifts, talents, and resources, period. And then, so, hey, you don't, you don't so need to change anything, just think about it. He's going to go. Yeah. Here. Period. Period. And then, uh, we are committed to growing. And nurturing others to growing to growing okay. and nurturing others and if you want to say in this state through scripture, worship, fellowship, service, and outreach. Through what? It's that list over there on the right. Yeah, through scripture. What's the rest of it? Worship, worship. fellowship. Crystal can't spell. Worship, fellowship. Service, service, yes. and outreach. Yes. Yes. Services, services, and outreach. Service, and outreach.
So, does everybody understand this gets moved? Yes. Okay. So it says, as Christ centered people, we live our faith by sharing God's love with all those with all those in need through our gifts, talents, and resources. We are committed to growing and nurturing others through scripture, worship, fellowship, service, and outreach. That's too long, I think. Well, it's two sentences, but it encompasses this one, this one. and this one. Okay. And the one underneath. And the one underneath. Does it get you guys underneath? I think we could drop out just a short We <laughs> just need some food. <laughs> well, they can wet the kitchen so we can not even participate anymore. <laughs> to to short I think back. we could drop out. No, um, he's participating. He's over here. <laughs> <laughs> Our gifts, talents, and resources because that will become after you have this broad statement that will become <coughs> how you do it and those specifics will change over time so this would be your own to me an overarching guidance <coughs> so what you're saying is it would be as christ-centered people we live out our faith by sharing god's love with all those in need we are committed to growing and nurturing others through scripture, worship, fellowship, service, and all. I like that. It wouldn't say through. It would That's say true. by sharing God's love with all of those in need. Period. Now, the one thing we don't have to is. Let's say how. Oh, with all those in need, period. Take out the through our gifts, talents, and resources. Okay. Right. All right. And then how do we bring in that little bit of how do we shore up our individuals? Because if. if we need to be shored up before we can branch out to beyond. Um, you're, you're talking about the internal and external, mm -hmm. which I agree, which is what we were going to do. But counterpoint to taking out gifts, talents, and resources is a way to be inclusive so that it speaks to every single member of the congregation. Mm -hmm. you, you need, through whatever means you have, to help us carry out this mission. Yeah, Pastor Tom, do you have Word on your computer? Yeah. Do you mind if we threw it up there? And Word's That's a great idea. That's a great idea. We can do that. Thank you. Thank you. So are you writing your scooter or just uh, 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 writing it in here? Or it 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 what do you mean, type it in here? Later. You want to do that? You know, I do all the time. You want to do that? Getting all the ideas right those ones that have the dual front wheels. But it's big enough I know it's not big enough. I think it's going to be more of a say after this. We have pants go up and stuff. Study will be so simple. Just come, do it, go. Lay it down off the side of the road. We got all of them. Oh, God, I worry about that. I'll tell you, the other day, we remember, took our lunch that had cut us off. Oh, God. We were coming down the road and had it from the place, and all of a sudden he creeps a turn and walks across in front of us. Well, that good there's no one coming on the other side of the road, and we didn't have a head on us. Yeah. It was 
Like the doctors do, they were dictating. Yeah, he did. No signal, nothing. He just all of a sudden decided he was turning left and he just came right across the front. And it was too early for happy hours, so we don't know what was going on. We may may demolish the front end of our new car. We were fortunate. We were. Yeah. They were looking out for us. Probably yeah. not, right? Okay, so place up here, see you get new stuff put on it. Go ahead and I'd like to go up there when we get done and take it out on the lake, but no, 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 no. that's cold. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, moving the wind. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, was up there. Uh, I was up there what, two uh, weeks ago. Yeah. Took it out. Yeah. It was cold. I'll tell you, that board doesn't go back. I don't go. I lo- I'm not a cold weather fan. Thirty so. miles an hour going across <laughs> that lake. It was cold out oh, here. Here, here, here. Go for it, yeah. They tell me that I can trade in for the new one. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> they, have they have three thousand dollars off. Good. Good. Keep talking, dear. <laughs> You're going to work where? Because it's it's possible by doing this. But you have to now reduce the screen down so you can get out of the first screen. I guess so. Yeah. 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 I think we're getting snow. I doubt it. We don't get any rain. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get any snow without the rain. Yeah. That's right. Because we're talking about three, three to five inches of snow up, up in the mountains. Up in the mountains. Yeah. But that's well, that happens 80 miles or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I hope it's not looking out. Maybe I'll have to We'll take what we get. The water is shut off in the building, and he said it's going to be quite a little while yeah. because he's working on some high rates. Call it. You call that? You call that incentive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are we done yet? Not yet, not yet. Hold on a minute. There are bushes out there. there. <laughs> We're almost there, people. Amen. <laughs> Did you get your hot water heater thing, Sarah? Yeah. Uh, Turns out it wasn't my water heater. Um, the valve is right out front. Second tank. Oh, no. Oh, no. Which is, which is what I thought it was. Oh. So we we were letting people use the highest flight sharks when it's down here. Wow, there were so three so families, three families, eleven kids. Wow. Oh, yeah. wow. And, uh, oh, and, uh, oh, and, uh, oh, all right, good Christmas to you. There you go. Work. Get it right. there. <laughs> all right. So there we are. We're up on screen. What is that? You have to have the ads because it's active voice, so I change the tense of the living and the ads. It has to say, it says, as Christ center people. Yeah. Okay, you're right. That's passive voice. Do you want to hear an active voice? Or do you want to hear the voice? I wanted you to type exactly what was on the phone. Yes. yes. That's okay. <laughs> Cat fight. Cat fight. <laughs> I, I I think you're focusing on the verbiage of extraneous words and not really looking at the overall. We better get ready to say yes here. What? When I was teaching, I always liked to take the minutes so that I could do the, do the writing. Now, there the is, all the water is shut off. He who yeah, had the right. pen had the power. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 We didn't get to the all yet, we just got to the bathroom until I hit to the water fountain. Well, that was like, I thought you were doing one wasn't good to the other. We were doing 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 the other. The band do you want to put on it with the word? He's working on some valves. What you doing, Pastor? May. Pastor Tom. And don't worry about it. Yeah, we can just keep on going. Yeah, uh, just bring it I up. I thought it would be easier, but it's obviously more complicated. <laughs> well, yeah. I can write. Oh, you got it. Oh, that's a good one. There it is. You're right. It's still not a sentence. There's no more. As Christ said, people, we will out. Not living out of our faith. Isn't that what I wrote? That's not a sentence. You want to go back to my writing? Yes. That's right, sir. Do you really have that here? Is that it? All right. As Christ centered people, as Christ centered people, we live out our faith by sharing God's love with all those in need Yes. through our gifts, talents, and resources. Period. He said that was out there. Is that in there? It just was moved. Yes. This parentheses gets moved mm -hmm. to here. Next sentence. We are committed to growing and nurturing others through scripture, worship, fellowship, service, and outreach. Okay. Now, Pastor, yeah. Okay, just through. That's the second sentence that you wanted? Something that was this. Yeah, okay, so what's more? Yeah, what's missing now? Okay, so what's missing now? Okay, so what's missing now? I thought we agreed to live out, uh, leave out the uh, CSU challenge. Uh, no, we didn't agree to it. She mentioned it. Yeah. Yeah. And I just said, so we still need to make it inclusive, which means we need to be able to point to everybody. Everybody. Yeah. 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 That might warrant a little more discussion, it sounds like. Yeah. Because it's not like everyone's in agreement on it. So. Okay. That's just. So, how question. do we make it inclusive to the congregation? How do we let them know this applies to you, 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 and you? Just by, as Christ centered people. And we live on our faith. So, we're, by living on our faith, we're doing those things. We call upon all members to contribute. <laughs> <laughs> the more you give, the more you will receive. Oh. <laughs> so you want to Mr. start? Argus? <laughs> you want to say God's love with all those in need. Copeland. <laughs> Period. And strike through our gifts, talents, and resources. Oh, strike it. How do you want to change it? How do you want to change it? Well, that's what we're discussing. Okay. So what we're talking about is striking through our gifts, talents, and resources, and it'll just read God's love with all those in need, period. That's what we had. That's what we had. Yes. Yeah. I didn't want to add it. This is how it was. Now we're discussing whether or not it stays. I think you still should put that, take the parentheses out and take that phrase with all those in need and put it at the end of that sentence. The it's better to say, as Christ said, we live out our faith by sharing God's love through our gifts, talents, and resources with all those in the United Okay, so that's what it does say. They're debating that we don't need the words gifts, talents, and resources. So that's what I'm asking. We do. I like that from the very first time you explained it, that it's we, we're calling upon all the people of our congregation to use their gifts, talents, and resources. Yeah. <coughs> there you go. There you have it. Are we down to a vote? Because we seem to be at a dozen. <laughs> Sorry? Question? He's calling question. a question. Alvin. Uh, 
I'm questioning for a vote. There's no motion on the floor, <laughs> Well, I'm just trying to get somebody's this attention. Is, this is more a dictatorship than that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's let's call a motion then to see. Let's just take a vote and see kind of where we're at. All those in favor of leaving in gifts, talents, and resources, raise your hand. That's the current version. They they are. So, yes, yeah. but gifts shouldn't be in cost. <laughs> okay, so hang on. All those in favor? One, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All those opposed? <laughs> I think you're outweighed. Okay, there you go. Is that what we were looking at? Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read Which you what I have. Here. You tell me if it fits what you have. You ready? It's not the same based on the changes that they were talking about making that Jan was uh, suggesting and they said yes to. So this is different than that currently. No, it's not because I put. Okay. Okay. It. Read it from your paper, Crystal, and we'll no. read it off the screen. Right? Okay. okay. So well, here's what it needs to read, David. God's love with all those in need. We said this goes here. They oh, said oh, to put it, it at the end. Okay. So it's, it's, you apparently didn't listen to it in that part of the conversation. It's just okay. Table. So, so, so let's this, just go ahead and read it through, here. Crystal. Read it through. Leave it? No, read, read it. Read it through. As Christ centered people, I'm not reading this because this is wrong. No. Yeah. As Christ centered people, we live out our faith by sharing God's love with all those in need through our gifts, talents, and resources, period. Okay. We are committed to growing nur and, and nurturing others through scripture, worship, fellowship, service, and outreach. And now read it That's this awesome. way and see if you like it better the way it says it. That's what I'm saying. It says the same thing. It says the same it's thing, but it says listen. the same thing. It just turns it around. And, and the way it sounds. And the way the screen reads reads better. That's right. Okay, so so as Christ-centered people, we live out our faith by sharing God's love through our gifts, talents, and resources with all those in need. Yes. We are committed to growing and nurturing others through scripture, worship, fellowship, service, and outreach. Okay, so I think the question is grammatically English. Either either way, the, that phrase um, with all those in need could go <coughs> after God's after love. love and before the word through. Or you know, I, I I don't I mean it's still a sentence. Okay. Does anybody have a preference? This way. The screen works. The screen works. Hold on the screen way. Okay, stand by. We like the screen. Okay. Everybody in favor of the way it reads on the screen? I have a discussion question. <laughs> okay. So for right now, this is the preferred uh, yes. Yes. version. Go for it, Jackie. <laughs> no, you said you had a discussion question. Well, uh, to me, gifts, talents, resources bothers me because it's exclusive. And it, to me, it means the more gifts, talents, and resources you give and have, the more direct you're getting up to heaven. <laughs> it re reminds me of Kathleen. You said the more what? You said the she says that, that reads, the, the more gifts, talents, and resources you have, the quicker you get to heaven or the fact you'll get to heaven. That's what it reminds her of. It's Catholic exclusive to you. She says it's exclusive, not inclusive. <coughs> Where if we drop that out, then it's more, it's broader. So that's just my, that's just my hang up. That's just, okay. Well, we voted on it. I know. And, we and I'm with it. it. I'm with but it. if you want to stand up and, and make it. I just did. I just did. I know. But you made it to me. I no, I, I'm. No, she's not. I think everybody Does everybody agree. understand Jackie's concern? Yeah. Don't agree with it. So, but so, so, I don't so, yeah. that so, so here's the thought. No. Um, so you say, as Christ centered people, we live out our faith by sharing God's love through how God has gifted us. 
with all those in need. Yeah, that's, I think that's all that's, that's, That sounds like Paul's writing. Well, I, yeah. well, that's not <laughs> quite, because then we make him run on sentence. Um, yeah. But, you know, I, I, I think it puts ownership on people to yeah. figure out what gifts, talents, and resources are. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I really think the way it reads is actually inclusive from the standpoint some people support with their talents, some people support with their, their financial resources, uh, some people support with their time and how God has gifted them. I think that's all included in that gifts, talents, and resources. Um, and so realizing that not everybody is going to actually fit into each category. Would it, would it be helpful to add a word like through our corporate gifts? Where, where it means I just, I just leave I'm just saying that that brings everybody together, that brings all the gifts, all the talents, and all the resources. Right. 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 Okay. Our gifts, talents, resources. Okay. Well, Any? that could be. It could be corporate. It could be individual too. You're right. It could be either. Yeah. Does anybody else have any thoughts on changing this up? Because we're like in the home stretch here. Just leave it. Let's go do it. Yeah. 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 Right along. Here's the thing. There's a lot of people that aren't here that are going to like pontificate on what we've written. It's, I want. I want to make sure. I want to make sure we all take ownership of this. Because if we take ownership of it, we can explain it to the others who are going to be yeah. picking it apart. They get a chance to do it when they see the Constitution and bylaws. Yeah, that's a whole other part. We can blame you and you can explain. No, <laughs> no that's not going to happen. The way it works, Alvin, is they ask a question, they say, Alvin, you want to take care of that? <laughs> So are you comfortable with this? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. All those that are okay with it? Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. that's a scary thought too. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of the difficult things to do uh, because look how many minds we have, look how many different thoughts we have. Look at um, you know. Look at all these different thoughts, and we bring it together, and we and we gel it down. Um, and so I, I I commend all of you uh, for the work that you put in here today, which which kind of brings me to my. Um, Pastor, can I interrupt? Hold on. I'm so sorry. Back up a page. We yeah. still need to address Jackie's concern about internal and external. And I want to maybe say in the last sentence, we are committed to growing and nurturing. It says others through scripture, worship, fellowship, service, and outreach. Do we want to say ourselves and others? No. Okay. Or do you want to take just others out and say nurturing through scripture? And, nurturing. and, and, and it could be all. Crystal, yeah, you know, is that's that that growing is ourselves and nurturing others. And that could be just, in, you know, um, an understood individual. It's understood. It could be interpreted as understood. So we do mention others, but we're, we are committed to growing, nurturing others as well. You know, uh, it could be understood that we're also included in that. I just want to make sure because you were really yeah. concerned about making sure we're caring for ourselves too. Pastor oh, yeah, Schneider, yeah, yeah, growing is is intransitive, so that's everyone. Us. No, growing is us. Yeah. Nurturing is others. Committed to growing ourselves. Growing is us. You want to be explicit, you can say we are committed to growing ourselves and nurturing others. We're committed to growing, comma, nurturing. So we drop out and. No, well, I think Pastor Schlack has a great, the best idea. Growing ourselves, ourselves and, and nursing others. others. I like that. Just after growing, just add ourselves. Yes. Yeah. Now I want you to remember, this is after we voted, okay? This is after we voted. I know, but we forgot. We didn't ever address, because we were on another top topic, and I wanted to not forget Jackie's concern. Sorry. But it's got to be perfect. 
<laughs> it is. Or remember, once we write it, we don't want to have to send it to district again to because we have to send. Oh, we want to add the word ourselves in there. Oh no, it's got to go back to district for seven months. No, it's just it's not. Well, All right. How's that? Okay. Right. 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 All right, Pastor, now we vote. Okay, now we vote. Okay. Thank okay. you, Harlan. Okay. 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 Yes. Yes. Okay. Everybody likes it now. So, Jan, what I'll do is we'll uh, copy this and I'll s oh, send it to Crystal so you can put it in. It's, it's got to go in the, in the Constitution yeah. bylaws. Um, and Christ ought to be hyphenated, Christ Center, as Christ Center. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yes. when, when you send it to me, Pastor, that's all. At this stage, I'm voting for lunch. So now, it's after 12. <laughs> now we can talk about the next step. Uh, lunch? Did you say lunch? lunch? Uh, no, no oh, this, is, oh. this is what happens. We, you know, we're going to have to, now in the future, we're going to have to break out into the smaller groups. This is what I was talking about. So we'll try to highlight, you know, like fellowship, like uh, Christian education, uh, elders would be one, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We break into these small groups now and then see how, how uh, you know, we support in each one of those little areas, how we support this this vision statement that we have and the direction that we're going. And so that's going to cause us to do this evaluation I'm talking about in this second bullet. Just so you know. We have to evaluate where we're at and then what do we have to do and then what do we have to do to get there. And then of course is in those groups, that's where all those ideas come up. This is the direction we want to go to. Um, you know, that uh, this particular area, you know, called fellowship or whatever, this is, this is a ministry that we're being led to here in the future. And then see how, uh, how we would program that in. Um, now, the other thing it does, and I don't think we have to worry about it too much for us here today or in the current uh, state of the congregation. You know, one of the things this causes us to do is evaluate what our current ministry aspects are. And then it's like, okay, do we still need to keep doing this? You know, what I'm trying to say is we can't be all things to all people. Okay, I can remember in Colorado Springs when I was doing this with Holy Cross, uh, you know, one of the things we talked about was, was well, okay, we're not very good at, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, being, being a center for people to come to that are grieving. But there is this other church that has a very good grief program that we would recommend people to go to. You know, so we got to keep those kinds of things in mind. And, and if there's something that we're doing that really doesn't fit into our vision, we have to we have to be able to stand up and say, well, this doesn't fit anymore. Um, and then uh, again, when we're in these kind of smaller kind of groups, uh, we have to look at where we're going to be in five years in each one of those. <laughs> Uh, and, and a simplified, simplified plan in order to get there. Because part of the plan is trying to understand how implementing the plan is going to fold into the budget that you come up with that you vote on each December. So that's going to be an aspect of what you, we would do in these smaller groups. But that's not something for today. Uh, that's something we'll have to maybe put together a sign up or something out there for here's, here's where we want people to to kind of fit in and fold in and, and work. Why don't we adopt um, what was suggested over there by about putting something out to the congregation, not necessarily all of these things, but seeking out their mm -hmm. input as to give them what the mission. Well, the what mission I would like, what I, what I would like us to do is not only sign up and be on one of these committees, but I would want to invite the congregation that is not here today to also be part of our at least making input. And they won't come. And then you run into the same okay. scenario. Why are we doing this? Because as a congregation, this is the way we vote. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's why I'm proposing that we give them what the new vision oh, statement is. We, we, we should actually put all of this out. Yeah. And then we yeah. fund the organization. And then well, you know, Pastor, the, the, the issue that we're running into right now, and we're all aware of this, we're going to actually be kind of functioning between two separate um, constitution and bylaws. We're going to have the 2010 one, which we're under right now, and technically the question is how long do we stay under that? Because eventually, probably looks like maybe February, we're going to have to have a congregational meeting to vote on the new Constitution and bylaws. If we produce, approve that, a lot of these boards, committees all go away and we're restructuring how these groups are going to be put together. And are we going to be able to function under that deal or are we going to have to wait all the way until district comes back and says, gives us our blessing and then we can make the change? I think that's a discussion we have to have on the 21st with President Maxwell. Okay. Uh, yeah, but because it's, because it's you know I, I think it's it's important that he understands that we can't function any longer in the 2010. We can't do it. We just physically don't have enough people. Right. In the meantime, though, do we want to know maybe people who won't come to a meeting might fill out a form and tell us what their thoughts are about. Existing programs or activities or things that they think we should add as a program. At least we get people's input. And they're not going to come to a meeting. Yeah, well, and, and that's what I'm saying. I think it's something that we have to sit down with the council and try to define what those groups are, and then we can do maybe put something together for that. Don't we? Haven't we already kind of done that with the cottage meetings? And you can we can look at your report from that to kind of get how people were feeling. I, I think, don't really think people I, are going to fill out a questionnaire. They won't even show up for anything. Well, I, I, I think I think the report from the cottage meeting is a starter. Okay, because this was this was you know came out. This was what was on the heart of, of people. We had a really good showing, I think, for the cottage meetings. So we got a lot of good ideas, a lot of recurring thoughts. Uh, and those kinds of things. So we can certainly make that available too. And even if you put out a survey to people and they don't respond, at least you have given them the opportunity. Right. Right. And I think that's what we do. By the way, non-response is consent. Absolutely. So, you know, if you have an assenting opinion, that's fine. But if you didn't speak up at the time, kind of like this, if you didn't come to this meeting, you could have written anybody who who's on a committee or on the council to voice your opinion through them. There's a lot of ways you have an elder that could have voiced your opinion at this. One of the things I want to bring up though is we've now read on a mission, a vision, a purpose, which should all go on the website immediately, and which should all be part of the different things we do with the bulletins and all that because if we have agreed on this as a congregation, because that's what we have as representatives of the whole congregation, you're not going to get everybody at one meeting to start putting this out and making it a reality. Because the more you say, oh, well, you know, we have to have every single person think about it. We have to have every single person do this and every single person do that. Well, it becomes a foregone conclusion because it's, a 95 percent or and they start seeing it then it's going to become a reality doesn't it need to be approved by the council though first or not before you put it out to the general congregation well, like officially it's going to be in the constitution all that that's going to get officially voted on it's going yes. to be voted on. Okay. but yeah. but to say hey here's where we're at just just to know the council doesn't approve it the council only approves it to be passed on to the congregation the congregation is the one that must do the approval. So how many people here sit on council? Do we have a majority kind of here? I think we all just voted on it, right? So bringing in the uh, But we don't have the ones that aren't here, so. Yeah. That's okay. Well, Gene and Russ would have been here, but yeah. fair second. So. so we just need to have it approved at council on the 16th. Yeah, yeah, which we will. We'll put this before us. Right. It's already gone out to the council members, except for the vision statement. Except for the vision statement. 
Alright. Alright. Everybody take a deep breath. <laughs> what's your, what's let's uh, rise and I'd like us to join hands and let's say the Lord's Prayer. Okay, come this way. Oh, let's pray. 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 let us pray 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 let us pray